Wait, are you looking for another data science or data engineering interview guide, video, or tutorial? Let me stop you right there and let's try to make this the last video you need to watch on preparing for a data science or data engineering video. I have had the opportunity to interview at multiple different FANG as well as general technology companies. So I've kind of gone through the paces as far as kind of getting an understanding of what to do, what not to do, what questions to prepare for and what questions not to prepare for. After successfully getting a job at one of those companies, I decided to put together a guide that should help people in the future as far as understanding what's worth studying and what's worth not. There really just is so much information out there as far as different sites and video tutorials that will help you try to prepare for your data science or data engineering interview. And I kind of wanted to help consolidate a lot of that information down so you weren't spending all of your time just Googling, you know, data science interview questions, data engineering interview questions, and instead could focus more on the process of actually studying. And I've actually been able to share this guide with over 100,000 people, according to Medium, uh, as well as directly with a lot of people who maybe asked uh, on LinkedIn or on some other social platform for some information. I would just essentially share this guide and they've come back to me after they got their own jobs at a fang company or in big tech. And so in this video, I just wanted to go over some tips and tricks on how you could use this guide, as well as kind of why I think it's very helpful for probably about 10 to 30% of you. All right, so for those of you who just want the guide, you can go down in the description below there are links to the data science and data engineering versions. Feel free to make copies of them and then edit them. I've restricted edit access to them uh, kind of for obvious reasons. I don't want anyone kind of messing with those guides because they're kind of the blank template and I don't want anyone kind of messing with that baseline. But feel free to make your uh, edits to it if you make your own copy. Also, feel free to leave some comments below if you feel like some sections are missing. I'd love to add them in and make them more complete. So if that's all you came here for, and if those guides are already providing a ton of value for you, maybe consider taking a moment and smashing that like button. It really helps me out as far as just gives me personal encouragement, as well as I'm sure tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is probably worth watching. So to start out, let's discuss why I made this guide in the first place. I lightly discussed this concept kind of in the beginning, but just to reiterate, there's a lot of information out there as far as what you should study, everything from leak code to hacker rank to various interview tech pro websites that help you try to figure out what you should study and how and the various questions that you might be asked. The problem here is this becomes very overwhelming very quickly. And in this world where we live in information overload, I figured one thing that would help us, especially as engineers, is to have kind of a concrete guide that helps list out various topics. It kind of helps us organize our various thoughts and gives us less ambiguity as far as what we should study. Now, the one thing you will notice when you open up these guides is there are a lot of subjects. You know, if you look up data science, I've got things like machine learning, statistics, probability, uh, even some programming in there. Because at the end of the day, I do think sometimes you might get a programming question in your data science interview. And this can at first be overwhelming, but that's again, kind of the purpose of the guide. It's just meant to give you some step-by-step -step sections where you can kind of just do a few questions from statistics and probability, and then maybe some programming and just so you get comfortable and then take notes on what you've done. I think one of the biggest challenges you face while you're studying for interviews is it feels like you haven't done any work, right? Especially if you aren't getting a job, you've done all of this work, you've put all this effort in, but you don't actually know what you've completed. Putting together this guide kind of will help you track, hey, I've actually studied things. I know what I've studied. I know what I haven't studied. Um, and so that's a huge benefit personally, especially for engineers or really anyone uh, studying for some sort of future interview. Now I'm going to jump into the guide so that you can kind of see what it looks like on a personal level and uh, maybe get a feel for how it could help you. So let's go over there. All right, so let's jump into the data science interview guide. What you'll notice here is there are several sections. Again, you've got things like machine learning and right below that probability and statistics. In fact, uh, if you scroll down far enough, you will notice probability interview questions. And these are actual questions I've pulled from Glassdoor. So these are real questions that someone was asked in a data science interview that you can use and rely upon as far as possible questions you can test yourself on. And there's actually something else I did here as well, where I would often set up a pre-section. So for example, the statistics pre-quiz, where you kind of test it before doing any of the videos below. So you've got these statistics concepts below. And then after you've kind of gone through these various concepts, you could actually then do a follow-up quiz right below it. And I did that for several sections, but not all of them. Another important area, especially for uh, data science is product questions. So understanding how you would create metrics, what are you tracking, uh, what you would do in terms of if you saw a metric going down or up and things like that. These are very common, especially in big tech because they have digital products that they need to understand if you know uh, how to tell if 
the changes you're making and the algorithms you're building are actually improving the product. I also included a little bit of programming, not too much, but just enough so that if you're at least somewhat familiar with coding, you should be able to pick these up pretty quickly, just so you're not completely disarmed if a programming question comes up. I wanna make sure that there was a good amount of SQL questions. And then after that, also some SQL videos, as well as some post SQL questions you could do just to make sure that after you practice those first few problems and then watch those videos, you are 100% sure you are ready for the SQL portion of an interview. Now, right below that, I did include some data science courses. This is kind of your last ditch effort. If you're still struggling after finishing this guide and maybe adding some extra questions and you really need that last little bit to push you over the edge, uh, these should all be pretty cheap courses, somewhere in the range of $10, $20, and should hopefully just help you push you over that last little bit. Some other things I'd recommend is do take some notes as well as reference how difficult it was for you to answer these questions, because hopefully you will notice that as you're practicing and as you're doing these questions, they become easier over time. If not, you know where to practice. I think that's the other important purpose of this guide. It's not just meant to help you know what to practice, but know where you're weak at. So I'm gonna go back over to the other video just so we can think about that a little bit more. So that's one of the key points of this guide. It's just so you can keep track of where you need to study more. If you do poorly in the probability section, then do more probability questions. If you do poorly in SQL, do more SQL questions. It's really that simple. Also, as you're going through and actually interviewing, keep track of it. Keep track of which section you seem to be a little shaky at, took a little extra time responding to, and then go back and practice that area. That's kind of the purpose of the guide. It's really just meant to act as that tracker that helps you know where you're at and helps you know what to study. What I really want this guide to be is less of a direct step-by-step -step on how to pass an interview and more of a guide that helps you understand yourself, your skill set, and what you need to still study. And that's why this should probably be one of the last videos you need to watch in terms of like tips and tricks. You might still need to watch some videos as far as like SQL concepts and some Python questions. But overall, if you use this guide, I think it should be very helpful. Now, before I wrap this up, I do have an honest question to ask all of you. Since I have a pretty broad background as far as skill sets go and experiences, I figured let's see what you want to see next. To give you guys a general understanding of my skills and what I've done, besides working in big tech and startups, I've also had the opportunity to set up my own data science and data engineering consulting company that's doing quite well at this point, as well as write articles for some decent tech companies and have a decent following on Medium. So. I want to ask you guys, what video do you want to see next? What kind of questions do you want answered? I'm going to put up a few options right here. So take a moment to look at them and see if there's anything that you want to know, or maybe leave a comment below on some topic you might want to understand better, whether again, it be in data engineering, data science, SQL, uh, setting up some sort of consulting business and so forth. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the views. I look forward to seeing what you want to see next and thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.